all go camping You'll never have it so good It's great getting back to nature Out here in the woods Amongst the birds and the bees and the flowers oh, Hello campers, I'm uh, Bill Beaverton and welcome to Cooking While Camping. Today, we'll be cooking delicious strips of bacon. Today, my supplies are a uh, Swiss Army knife, a bag of bacon, my camp stove, the supplies, and uh, paper towels to defend against hot grease. Well, uh, first I'm uh, gonna turn on the stove here. And uh, it's important not to cook your bacon on, on too high a setting or else it'll burn here. So I'm going to get a nice meaty strip out. Oh yeah, that looks succulent, doesn't it? Mm. That, looks, that looks nice. Mm. And sometimes I like to lick the raw grease off my fingers because it gives me a, more of a taste for the flavor. And uh, it's, it's important to, to push the bacon around with a, uh, you know, I, I like to use a stick, I like to use something natural, so it gets cooked evenly in all parts of it. And you like it to, you want it to sop up all that grease, so, um, you know, so it'll trap in all the flavor, like a, uh, much like a child trapped inside of a basement. And, uh, mm, that smells good. I'm starting to hear that sizzling. It's kind of sizzling, like as if to say, let me out, let me out. But uh, I'm not going to let the flavor out. That's all for me. You know, uh, if I was back home right now, I wouldn't be allowed to, you know, eat so much bacon. My mother would probably complain. But that's why I'm out camping. That's, that's the beauty of it, see. Oh, listen to that sizzle. Mm. The, uh, the Native Americans used to rub bacon grease on themselves before battle because they said that it uh, gave them courage and stamina. And, um, you know, I'll believe old Proudfoot before I believe some quack doctor, if you know what I'm saying. That's, that's, that's why I'm a camper. Mm. Very important to flip your bacon a few times. Now, now you try. You should try and get in and take a take as big a whiff of it as you can before it's done cooking. Because you'll be less hungry that way. But make sure hot grease doesn't jump into your eye. That's how my brother lost lost his left eye. Tragic. You're not starting to get nice and browned on the edges. Just how I like it. You like that nice golden brown coloring. It's like you might like your popcorn, maybe a deep popcorn. And there we go. And this is starting to look pretty edible here. Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna turn this up a little bit for the last mile. I'm gonna get my, my paper towels for safety. I'm gonna put them down here because we don't use plates when we're out camping. That's for city folk. Here we go. I'm gonna get my trusty Swiss Army knife. I'm gonna stab that sucker. Yeah. I have to stab it a few times. Do it with some feeling. Ah, uh, and there we go. That is a beautiful, beautiful piece of bacon. I don't think you could make it any better on a stove at home than you could out here in the outdoors. And uh, make sure when you're done, you uh, put everything away so the uh, bears can't get it. And, uh, ow! Here, let's just uh, see how this tastes here. Mmm, that is delicious. Mm. I uh, mm. I think that that forest air mm, really gives it that mesquite flavor that uh that I strive for. And um, mm, mm. that concludes this episode of uh camping, camping while cooking, cooking while camping. So Bill Beaverton, I'm gonna go take a nap. Adios. Let's all go camping. You never had it so good. It's great getting back. Amongst the birds and the bees and the flowers and the trees where the animals are our friends. Once you get hooked on camp, you can never like a city again.